With harvest just around the corner, now's the time to be getting your combine ready for the new rape season, and that means attaching new side knives too. When a new combine, or nearly new combine, arrives on the farm, you've probably still got your old side knives that you want to fit up. And that's what we're going to try and do today. We've got this pile of goodies to make some sense of. They're actually two side knives made by French manufacturer in Matro, probably 20 years old. They've seen some work, but um, there's no reason why they won't keep going for a bit longer with a bit of TLC. So as well as this heap of knives, we've got um, two wiring kits. One from Spare Parts Specialist Spaulings, this one here, and also a Matro Importer Garford and we're, hoping, we're going to see which one is easiest to set up. We've already spotted that the two main conrods that drive the knife need new bearings and bushes. So we've got a bag of bits here. We're going to change those, make sure everything's in working order, ready for harvest. So you can see it's a pretty simple setup. You've got an electric motor that drives these two conrods, which connect up to the knife here to reciprocate, to give the cutting effect. It's not rocket science. We've also got this assorted steelwork left over from the old side knife, which somehow we've got to get grafted onto here to fit this new Massey Ferguson combine. So we've got the side knife in the workshop, and the first job we're gonna do is replace a couple of the um, knives on the section. Um, we've got a couple of broken ones further up, and we're hoping if we just take off this drive bracket, we can slip the whole thing out and do the replacing job. Yeah. Right, so that's the drive bracket removed, and as you can see, that's all that's left of the old bush. It's a bit of a sorry state, and we're going to replace it with that. So, a quick squirt of jungle juice on all the brackets, and it should just slide out. So now we've got the knife section out, there's a couple of knives that need replacing, so we're just going to drop them in the vise and uh, knock them out. So, with Ollie changing the knife sections, I'm going to get on with changing the conrods, bearings and bushes. It's pretty straightforward. Circlips, irritating and fiddly as they are. So it's just a case of removing the inner. And then it's just a simple case of knocking the shaft out of the bearing. So we've selected an appropriate drift to push this back in, or we'll just uh, gently tap it back in, trying to keep it square. In the words of the Haynes manual, refitting is a reversal of removal. And uh, we just slip the bearing back onto the motor. So we found a couple of new knife sections and we're just going to put them on with rivets. You can always be sure that any mention of harvest heralds rain, so we're going to fit the motor inside. It just sits on top here, um, just with four bolts.
So we've started by connecting the wiring at the battery and uh, we've earthed it here and uh, then taken a feed from the back side of the isolated switch. So then the side knives are actually isolated when the isolator is turned off. And uh, we've also put a fuse in line uh, for overload protection. Well, the Spalding's wiring kit comes with this pre-wired control box with a simple on-off switch and overload reset. In reality, you do actually have to, um, to rewire it because the cables need to be different lengths. One, this is the input needs to come direct from the battery, so right to the back of the combine, while the output going out to the side knife is probably a shorter drive. And that can sit there. In contrast, the Garford kit comes just with this simple switch which could either be cut into the combine dash or, in this instance, we found an old control box and uh, wired it into here. And as you can see, the, the wiring is very simple. You have a, a feed from the battery into the switch and then the, uh, the uh, line out to the side knife from the switch. There is no relay, just a fuse at the battery. So we've got our semi-reconditioned um, side knife on the left-hand side of the combine. On the right-hand side we've got this one which just needs a quick service. So it's all pretty basic under here. It's just a case of checking your, the belt tension, which seems okay. Um, we've got a grease, nipple up, a grease nipple up the top here, which will need a quick squirt of grease. And a quick bit of spray grease on the knives and it should be ready to go. So we've run a wire to plug in below the cab and then all we've got left to do really is to cable tie this up and uh, put in a beam here just to keep it sturdy and uh, should be just the job. So we've taken a feed direct from the battery that comes up underneath the cab and up into the cab to the switch boxes and then these two cables come out from the switch boxes with quick connectors so to couple all up to the side knives directly here is close to the hydraulic connections for the header anyway. So you connect up simply just at the same time as you would the rest of the header. So it's taken us the best part of a day to get these two side knives on and wired up. And um, well, what have we learned? The Spalding's kit is certainly more comprehensive and we like the fact it's all ready to go, wired up, ready to go. However, the lengths of the cable are predetermined. So they give you an equal length of terminal to get from the battery to the cab and then back out to the side knife, which isn't ideal. So we've actually ended up having to rewire it slightly. Um, whereas the Garford system is much more simple. Effectively, you get one length of cable and a switch and a fuse and a couple of connectors and you have to wire the system yourself. I suppose where the Spalding system wins on that front is that it has the box already pre-wired with an overload protection which will trip out, whereas the Garford system doesn't have that, it just simply has a fuse. Um, but you've got to pay a bit more for the Spalding's kit. Uh, maintenance wise there's nothing groundbreaking but it's certainly worth doing well ahead of uh, harvest. We just replaced a couple of bushes and bearings in the comrods and a couple of knives. Um, so it really should be ready to go should uh, the weather break. <laughs>